This is Marcy Anderson with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. On Lake Cumberland, striped bass anglers have been having success trolling live shad in the morning hours. Try targeting the lower portions of the creeks and main lake areas in 15 to 35 feet of water. Walleye are being picked up on the lower ends of the major creeks and on the main lake near the mounds of creeks. Try fishing 10 to 20 feet deep using bottom bouncers rigged with night crawlers or trolling crankbaits such as walleye shad. Black bass are keyed in on structure and cover right now with anglers picking them up using soft plastic worms. On the Cumberland tailwater, flows have been more consistent with longer periods of no flow, which has allowed for some good opportunities for wade fishing. Spinner baits are a good option to target trout in the upper portion of the tailwater right now. On Dale Hollow, anglers are having success catching black bass and walleye in the nighttime hours. Grassy areas of the lake are holding smallmouth and largemouth bass. Try targeting them in 5 to 15 feet of water using soft plastics, spinner baits, and jigs. Walleye are being picked up by trolling in 5 to 15 feet of water near grass and along channel banks. Finns Lakes are some good places to try right now as catfish were recently stocked. Logan Hubble Park near Stanford and the Brickyard Ponds in Barberville are two in the district and provide a great way to spend the day fishing with the entire family. Elsewhere, Wharf Fork and Cane Creek, Bark Camp Creek, as well as the Laurel River Lake tailwater were recently stocked with rainbow trout. They can be caught on a variety of lures including small spinners, corn, and worms. So good luck and good fishing. This is Tom with your fishing report from the Northeast. At the time of this recording, Cavern Lake is sitting right at summer pool levels with minimal discharge. Crappie fishing has been a bit on the slower side with the sheer number of folks hitting the lake up this spring, but fish can still be found, you just might have to work a little more for it. As is usually the case, rely on your electronics to find brush and jigs are your best bet. Additionally, if you find non-marked brush, you might do a bit better than on marked piles. Shallower bass seem to be a little bit on the smaller side, the bigger fish are a little bit deeper, and on structure or weeds. The Corps of Engineers Cavern Lake Tailwaters Recreation Area in Bath County remains closed for the foreseeable future. Anglers can still fish the tailwaters on the hatchery side, but space for angling here is very limited and the hatchery closes at dark. If you're still wanting to hit up the Licking River, there are lots of access points, most a bit further downstream, but you can find those all on our website, fw.ky.gov, by searching fishing access at the top of the page. Sunfish have been moving up and nesting on the majority of our smaller lakes like Reba, Wilgreen, Clear Creek, and Greenbow. Your best bet for finding these is searching for the telltale honeycombs and shallower waters and also searching for muddier waters near the shoreline. Waxworms, redworms, crickets, just about anything will entice these fish. It's a great opportunity to get a kid out and hit high target area up. For adults, why don't you try a fly rod out on these panfish? It can be a great fight on the fly rod. Lastly, catfish have been stocked in and around in our Fins Lake. Stocking information like dates can be found on the fin section of our website, again, fw.ky.gov. That should do it for us in the Northeast. Good luck and stay safe. This is Jeremy Shifflett with a fishing update for Northwest Kentucky. Rough River Lake is right at Summer Pool with water temps in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Good numbers of hybrid striped bass are being caught using various methods. Some anglers are locating schooled fish on sonar and dropping night crawlers, live shad, or chicken livers down to them. Others are casting or trolling rattle traps or three to four inch swim baits across main lake points and the mouths of the tributaries. Keep an eye out for fish in the jumps early and late in the day in the Laurel Branch area and from the split down to the State Park Beach. Bass fishing has been fair using plastics, jigs, and crankbaits in 10 to 15 feet of water. Crappie fishing has been fair 8 to 12 feet deep on brush using jigs as well. The Lynn River Lake is also very near Summer Pool with temps running in the lower 80s. Bass fishing has been good using plastics and jigs off points and steep banks. Target the 12 to 15 foot depth range. Crappie fishing has been fair. Anglers are finding fish 8 to 15 feet deep on brush in main lake pockets and the bends up in the tributaries. White bass fishing has been fair, casting or trolling small cranks, spinners, or curly tail groves across main lake points. I have not heard of surface activity yet. That should pick up in the coming weeks, early and late in the day. If you walleye are being caught pulling nightcrawler rigs down rocky main lake points in the early morning and evening, jigging at night under lights in the channel near wax and above should pick up soon as well. At Lake Malone, Crappie and bluegill are shallow and biting all kinds of live bait. Bluegill and channel catfish are biting well in our smaller lakes as well. Target overhanging trees for spawning bluegill using small live bait presentations or 1 16th ounce Popeyes. Catfish are moving shallow and beginning to spawn. They are cavity nesters with the male generally guarding eggs and fry inside the cavity and the female patrolling the outside chasing off would-be predators. Casting live bait or shallow running crankbaits in two to four feet of water may generate some aggressive strikes. 
A few large crappie are also coming out of our smaller lakes. Fish structures six to 10 feet deep by vertical jigging or dragging something like a roadrunner or beetle spin in white chartreuse or pink along the edges of the structure. At Carpenter Lake, keep an eye out for saw guy. They will attack a variety of lures and those one year old fish are currently around 11 to 12 inches long. Panfish and catfish are biting well on Peabody WMA lakes. We have 77 boat ramps across the WMA and a good number of bank fishing opportunities as well, especially on the Ken unit in Ohio County and the Sinclair unit near the Peabody office in Drakesboro. Catfish were stocked in Davis County Fins Lakes and Bevel Park in Litchfield on June 9th and in Carlson Lake on Fort Knox on June 10th. Anglers are also doing well catching catfish in the Green River and tributaries using trot lines, limb lines, and rod and reel with cut bait or live bluegill. The recreational traffic on the lakes and rivers is increasing, so be aware, wear your life jacket. Good luck and stay safe.